Good morning and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen and today we're going to be doing a walk around video presentation for you of our 2011 Mitsubishi Lancer SX. In titanium, presents really well. As you can see from the front, we've got our nice big headlights here. Really good vision. Having a look at the paintwork on the front bar, there is a few minor stone chips along. And then looking at our bonnet, we have had uh, a bit of uh, stone chipping along the bonnet does look like they've been touched up as well. As we come around to the driver's side, you will notice we do have our indicator in the guard here. Really good with our MyVec badging underneath. Very stylish. As we come, we've got a little stone chipping there has been touched up as well. And as we have a look down, you'll see really good tyres. They do look brand new. And looking at the rim condition as well, really good. No scuffs on the rim that I can see at all. Fantastic. Got our colour-coded mirror here, which is really good. Nice big mirrors on the Lancer as well. Great for seeing behind you. As we look at the bottom of the front guard too, we've also got our mud flap at the bottom there, which is really good. Having a look at the paintwork on the driver's side here, I think I saw just a minor mark on the door there being really picky as we go through. Um, as we come up, we'll have a look at the roof. Looking at the roof, no dents on the roof. We do have... A few minor little scratches on the back of the roof there. I do believe a, a cat has walked on this car at one point. As we come further back, looking at our back tyre, fantastic condition tyre. I believe they are pretty much brand new as well. Looking at the rim condition, absolutely fantastic there as well. No scuffs or anything on there. And we've got our mud flap at the back of the car as well, which is really good. So as we come right around to the back of the car, you will notice there are a few minor little marks around on the back bar and on the back of the uh, boot lid there as well. Uh, I do have the key in my pocket here, so we can just double click the boot button. The good thing is with the keys, we do have two keys as well. And as we open up the boot, nice big boot in there. Plenty of room for storing lots of stuff in there. Do have the ability to fold the back seats down as well with a 60-40 split. Underneath the back here, we do have our spare wheel. So it is a space saver wheel. We have our jack on the right hand side and our tools on the left hand side, which is really good. And then the board just clips in there as well. So looking at the condition of the carpet and the inside of the boot has been well looked after on the inside there as well. And we also have a nice boot lining there as well, help with the noise. Pop that down. As I have a look at the paintwork, you will notice there is a bit of uh, light scratching on the top of the boot there. As we come further around to the passenger side, starting at the back here as well, having a look down, a couple of minor little scratches around, nothing real bad. Very good condition tyres, so you know you're not spending any more money on tyres on this car. And looking at the condition of the rim on this side, really good as well. No big scuff marks or anything in there at all. So as we come further down, still a few scratches on the doors here. Um, they are all light scratches as well. Uh, nothing major stands out, no dents that I've seen at all. A uh, couple of little stone chips and marks on the mirror. And then once again, we do have our indicator and our nice MyVec badging on the passenger side. A couple of minor marks on the front guard as well. And once again, great tire on the front. Now looking at this front rim, usually this is where you're going to get all the scuffing on and as I have a look around, I can't see any as well, which is really good. So as we come back around to the front of the car, I'm just going to pop the bonnet for you and show you underneath there as well. So it's nice and easy. We do have our 2 litre 4 cylinder MyVec engine, which is really good. So as we pop there, put the lid up, you can see everything as well. So as you look under there, this engine's going to give you 113 kilowatts of power, coupled and uh, 198 newton meters of torque. So all this is with the six-speed CVT transmission. You're going to get a range of 8.2 litres per 100 kilometres. So out of our 59 litre tank, that's 720 kilometres on average of driving, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, now to the inside of our nice little Lancer. We'll start on the driver's side here for you. We've got all our window switches here which are nice and easy to use with our lock button there. 
We've got our, as I'll just turn our wheel in case the cameraman can't see, we've got our mirror controls here, which are nice and easy as well. Door lock button up the top here, so you can shoot it forward for the central locking as well. As we look at the shooting through, we've got our traction stability control button. We've got our indicator stalk with our headlights on the end of it. And as we zoom through, you'll see we've got our info button here, which will change the information displayed on the driver's uh, digital readout there. On the left hand side we've got our wiper stalk for our front wipers and our intermediate adjustment. And then having a look at our steering wheel, as you can see, very nicely leather wrapped, in pretty good condition as well, no real wear and tear on it that you can see. We do have our cruise control switches on this side, which are nice and easy to use. And we've got our stereo control on the left hand side, so you can change through your modes, through your FM, your CD player, your USB, um, and go right through and then you've also got as you come across you can see you've got all your readout here nice digital out readout and your buttons at the top to go through it as well and adjust everything so as we come down we've got our hazard wipe button in the middle here and then as we come down further we've got our heating controls as you can see nice and easy to change through the vents turn our fan on we've got our recirc button or our fresh air button as well as our aircon just by pushing the middle and our rear demister as well which is really good so as we come further down I'm just going to uh, pop this back here so we can see we do have a little ashtray that sits in there is also removable as well so nice and easy to, to clean if you need to and then we do have on the right hand side we do have a lighter plug as well it is just a uh, plastic cap in there no lighter nice CVT transmission so we've got our reverse in our drive we can put it across into our tiptronic mode so plus and minus to change through our gears as well or you can just drive it as a normal automatic as we come further down little change holder or a phone holder which is very handy with our handbrake on the left hand side here we do have two cup holders when we open the lid and as we come further back and we open up the center console you will see it is a nice small center console for storing stuff in there as well really good car this one as we uh, I'll move this out of the way so you can see the condition of the car we've got our genuine mats as well and then uh, the other thing with this car is it is five star and cap safety rating as well we do have seven airbags in here and last thing I'll touch on in while we're inside the car here is the service history on this car now being a, a slightly older car um, the history is quite good on this car we have our 12 month service or 15,000 30,000, 40,000, 60, 75,000 as well. As we come across, they have missed the 90k service stamp there, but then having a look through, it's got the 105, 120, 135 was missed. And then as you come across, we've done the 150 for it. And then when we've bought the car back or traded it, we've also got a uh, another intermediate service done. So you know the car's been really well looked after throughout its time, uh, as you can see. Okay, so that's our walk around video today for you of our 2011 Mitsubishi Lancer SX. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 and thanks for watching.